I have to admit that I have a hard time fathoming the idea that the staffers working Trump's Twitter feed had any intent to tweet a Star of David out of some kind of... What's the benefit again? See, if I thought that Donald Trump was a white supremacist, I'd think that the last thing he'd want to do is advertise it like that. There's plenty of white supremacism around us. It doesn't come out in archaic references to historical conspiracies. It comes out in the kind of legislation that was passed in the last Clinton presidency. White supremacy is the establishment order. It's not some cartoon slogan. So I have a hard time taking the fiasco seriously. Um, I, I think the question is more along the lines of whether um, this is a malicious takedown or whether it's um, serious naivety. And I have as hard a time fathoming the idea of serious naivety as I do that it was actually intentional. So um, this is um, a malicious attempt by the Clinton campaign to smear Trump. Um, and that's what this election is going to be like. Okay. Um, I, I think that the traction the story is getting says something about the media, and then something about the way that we consume the media. What is inconceivably anything besides an unfortunate error, however unfortunate, and when I say however unfortunate, I mean it's not particularly unfortunate. It, it's being interpreted as some kind of solidarity with something that doesn't exist. And people are scooping it up because they want to imagine that their opponents are Nazis. If nothing else, Bernie Sanders injected a sense of reality into the election. He wanted to talk about real issues. The juxtaposition into the issueless nature of the upcoming general is going to be painful for a lot of people, myself included. Um, this is exactly why I'll never vote for Hillary Clinton.